This features segment of the Suburban Radio Hour is brought to you by Harina Optometrists Rockland Center. Book today at harina.ca or call 514 Harina 1. Welcome back, Montreal. Daryl Wiseman, editor in chief of the Suburban Newspaper Group, with my colleagues Anthony Bonaparte, features editor Mark Lidbetter, sports editor Mike Cohn, with all the news you need about entertainment and society on CJD 800 News Talk Radio. And I'm going to turn it over to my friend Anthony Bonaparte now, who's got. Uh, a couple of wonderful conversations on homes and on humor and on wit. Anthony, take it away. How are you doing, Beryl? Okay. Good, thanks. First, we'll begin with um, features writer and editor of Suburban's own blog section, Jennifer Cox, online. How are you doing, Jen? Good, thanks. How are you guys doing? Oh, not bad, not bad. How, how are you doing, Beryl? Well, you and I are always on an even keel, yeah, well. Jen. You know, you know, Anthony and I have <laughs> so, the same optimistic view of the world as you do. We're all filled with love and... Uh, Anthony, I'm, so, pre- I'm so glad to hear that. That's for, nice. you're, you're for about two minutes a day. Yes, so, yeah. but, but uh, Jennifer's <laughs> having an effect on us, I think. Yeah. Even that two minutes. I, softens, she softens the program. Absolutely. So, yeah. She you know, maintains an even strain. Yeah. Yeah. And brings, I try. And there's maturity also to it. Clearly, yeah. Yeah. clearly, because yeah. you and I are 18 and holding. She's a mother. Do you know that? I did I'm know that. A proud mother. I did. Yeah. Well, are you, you going to be not a proud mother? Well, she's a very, very proud mother. Well, how can you be not a proud mother? Oh, I think I might know a couple of unproud moms. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what? They, they were. Resen- going to name names on the radio. Leave my mother out of this. <laughs> they were, your mother called me. She's Leave very proud of you. Okay. You're telling what? me, Janet, mothers. There are mothers who regret like the decision. No, no, of course not. We there all have go. our individual <laughs> moments of pride, but we also have our moments where we're not too proud of our kids. That's for sure. Yeah, there you go. We had a home section in this week's suburban. Uh, what were some of the pieces you wrote about? Yeah, so uh, I spoke a little bit last week about a piece I did on kitchen renovations. So I spoke with two local people that had kitchen rentals done, and they had a lot of insight in terms of maybe some do's and don'ts if you're taking on a similar project like that. Um, I also wrote an article on smart homes. So I don't know if you guys know, but our homes are getting very, very smart. Uh, There is a lot of things in terms of automation. I mean, you can do almost anything these days. You can turn on your heat remotely from your car on your way home from work, preheat your oven, lock your doors, check your security cameras. Um, I even did a recent uh, press meeting with somebody from Moen who make uh, faucets, and they have a motion-activated faucet now that you don't even have to touch and you can do different motions to adjust the temperature Uh, you can even do preset fillings for things that you do all the time so if you always fill your dog bowl you can go onto an app preset how much water you need in that dog bowl and it will do it automatically for you so i don't know if this is a sign of the times that we're embracing technology or we're getting lazier but either way it's there's some pretty cool things out there and most of them scare me actually Pardon me? Most of them scare me. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm pretty intimidated yeah, by them myself. The I don't have many, many smart features in my home. Do you guys have smart features in your home? Well, my VCR is still flashing. <laughs> There's your answer. <laughs> and I have a paper calendar <laughs> hanging in my kitchen. So there you go. I you know, have not everybody in a embraces bar. everything there. So yeah, that's basically coming out in, uh, in the next home section. You've been writing about homes uh, for a long time now. You must have a lot of... Uh, of, uh, of um, potential stories coming up in the future. Yeah, I do. I do. And we always have our our houses and homes section of the website at thesuburban.com. So we also cover a lot of home decor news there as as well. So, yeah. Yeah. What else is is coming up next week and in following weeks? Yeah, so I'm working on a couple of stories, as always. Um, I just did a, a roundup of some of the camps that are being offered by the Sylvan Adams Y-M-Y-W-H-A. I always struggle with that acronym. <laughs> okay. uh, but yeah, the Sylvan Adams Center, they have all kinds of amazing camps, from city camps to inclusion camps, uh, sports camps like basketball, and then they have a really incredible sleepaway camp for, for summer campers that, that want to do the, the real kind of authentic summer camp sleepaway experience. So uh, I do a roundup of those camps. And I also did a profile on a learning institution here in Montreal. Now, I'm not going to give away the name. People will have to look out in the feature section for this article. But it's actually a learning institution that's been around for about 75 years for adult learners. And I have to say, it kind of tickled my fancy, and I might consider going back to take some classes in school. Uh, I hadn't thought about that in a while. but yeah, Dropping some hints there, Jen? Like are we? Pardon me? Dropping some hints, are we? Some hints? <laughs> about? 
Well, they're they're located downtown on Atwater, okay. but they they also have a a place out in the West Island. They've been around for seventy five years, and it's mostly adult education. They said their main student body is retirees who just want to kind of explore new avenues and new opportunities and learning. So yeah, we'll keep an eye out for that in the future section. Perfect. And online, what do you what do you have coming up? Well, online on the suburban.com, mm-hmm. so we have a lot of great bloggers. We have our book blogger, Meredith, and she always does um, a write-up on the CBC Canada Reads. So she just finished reading all the books that they announced, and she does a write-up for that uh, for our website. And uh, they also announced their CBC Kids Reads list. So uh, we have great book news. Uh, we have entertainment stuff. We have some pet blogs going up this week for our furry and feathered friends. And then uh, we're actually running some really delicious recipes from the new cookbook cook with confidence and that just hit bookstores so always something to find at the suburban.com blog section you know jen's also a proud dog owner a big dog or a small dog? I think it's a big dog, right? There, right oh, Jay? he's pretty big, yeah. I like Toby's big dogs. It's a out small dog. Toby is a 75-pound <laughs> golden doodle. Yikes. A golden yeah. doodle, of course. Yeah, he's just a big, flouncy, happy goofball, basically. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Apart from Jen, in this week's paper, we had uh, a piece from Dr. Mitch who wrote about the best ways to lose weight. Now, as you know, as we get older, our metabolism slows down a little bit, and if you have a sedentary lifestyle, extra weight can pile on. Case in point, when I was much, much younger, about 80 pounds ago, um, I could basically scoff down a whole pizza and still lose two pounds. Today, I just take a sniff of, the, of a piece of pie and I gain five pounds. So. Because you don't hang out with me downtown anymore. How do you stay so svelte, Barry? Because you, I'm running around, you know, doing things. I'm I, I sleep about four and a half hours a night. That's it. <laughs> You got to relax from the, you know, the the, the the fight with Quebec and the fight with Montreal and all the okay. stuff we do somehow. Well, one day you'll teach me. It's all metabolism. It'll be one. <laughs> uh, Doctor Mitch also makes some help, uh, takes some helpful suggestions on how to keep those pounds off, which includes proper diet and exercise. Columnist Judy Amiot wrote about quiet quitting, um, and that term came into vogue a couple of years ago, and it meant when you're not outright quitting your job, but you're quitting the idea of going above and beyond. You know, you're still you're still performing your duties, but you're no longer subscribing to the hustle right. culture mentality. That work has to be your life. But in her columns, she defines quiet quitting as the act of slowly pulling away from something that turned out to be a disappointment after a positive hype you got, you know, there in the first place. So it can be what you it can be what you thought was a dream job that turns into a nightmare, or it could be a bad relationship or old friends or things like that. Slowly just, moving just, out, or slowly, exactly, slowly just, moving away from a, a maximum involvement. There you go. Just taking some more time for yourself. Absolutely. It's a good read. And Suzanne Litwin, Reisler Litwin online wrote a column titled, Here's Looking at You, Kid. It's not about Bogart or Bergman. It's not about Rick or Elsa. Great It's movie. about, uh, yeah, but it's about what you see in the mirror as you age. And as always from Suzanne, who teaches creative writing, it's a lighthearted, funny, and always very personal read. So check that out online. And she's always great. Yeah, she's fantastic. Next week, more Dr. Mitch talking about uh, how celebrities help conquer disease, like the Michael J. Foxes, Celine right. and so on. Just living with it. Exactly. And letting us know yeah. uh, what they have. And uh, that's what we have coming up next week and much, much more. Thank you, sir. Excellent. And we'll be right back with Mike Cohen and all the entertainment and society news on CJD 800 News Talk Radio. This features segment of the Suburban Radio Hour was brought to you by Harina Optometrist's Rockland Center. Book today at harina.ca or call 514-HARINA-1.